So basically, the only thing I, I suggested to you, with all things considered, you know, with you being tight, as you mentioned, that right hand just gets too far over, and I could see almost two knuckles when I, when I stood across from you, yeah. and the forearm rolls in, and your shoulders actually end up getting a little bit open, especially if you use a longer club when the ball's positioned forward in your stance, that's going to happen. Yep. So you want to keep that right arm softer or more tucked like I have, yep. and that's easier to do if you grip it more in the fingers. Oh, so you're kind of more... Yeah. Here. And that squares up your shoulders, right? Yep. And it enables you to turn away with your shoulders and keeps your right side passive so it doesn't get active and dominant. Balance, positioning, club face, posture is all real good. No problems there at all. You're going to watch your takeaway now from the ball from where you were at. And notice how the club, it's going to have to kind of move out and you roll it open. See the club yep. face moves out, then you've got to fan it, right? Because yep. that's the only way you can release your right arm and, and flex it. So this is before I yeah. adjusted the grip? Yeah, 100%. See the club face? toward the sky, it's actually bellying up, yep. opening up. The shaft's going back on plane, your turn's pretty good, but the club face is wide open. Yep. And look how your legs kind of fold as a result of because your arms yep. are pulling everything back. From there, club drops back down, and then you re-extend it about now, you got to pronate and flick your wrists at it as you do to square the club face up. You need to get early on it, you know, and pull it, you can be late on it, and push it, or square it. It's all timing, right? So just keep that right hand soft and underneath. And then you'll be able to take the club back in one piece with yep. your shoulders, and the club face will go back square, literally staring at the back of the ball initially and then set on plane with the face square, and then you can release and not have to flick at it and swing out and up, and the club face will square itself up as you pivot on your own. And apply that to all your clubs, that right hand soft. Everything else looks pretty good.